Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to explore presets inside of Lightroom. But first, make sure you join us in our free private Facebook community so that you don't miss another live video. Have you ever applied a preset to your image? Or maybe there's some presets that you purchased and you apply it and you think, I really like that preset. I just wish it wasn't so strong. We're going to install a plugin today called a preset fader in order to reduce the impact of the preset on this image. I'm pretty sure this is the best news ever. I found this over at CaptureMonkey.com slash the fader. So what you need to do initially is download the fader and you'll notice that they have a free version as well as a paid version. You'll just have to determine what works best for you. Once you have that file downloaded, you'll need to jump over and unzip it and you'll see that the plugin is inside of that folder. Now we can go over into Lightroom and go to File, Plugin Manager, choose Add, navigate to that file, and then add the plugin. Now again, we have this message that it is shareware, meaning there is a free version, but if you wish to unlock some of the paid features, you can obviously do so here. I'm just going to select Done. And now that I have that installed, all I did was take this photo back to its original state. And now I can go to File, Plugin Extras, choose the fader. I'm going to make sure that Susie's presets are selected. I'm going to choose the cool mat, and you'll see that it made the adjustment. You can also increase this if you would like, but in this case, we're going to decrease it. I really do enjoy this preset. It's a little bit too strong for my taste. So I'm gonna pull that down to about 50% and say, okay. Now, the reason you're seeing those white lines on the edges is because in that preset, we have it set to constrain to crop. So I'm just gonna make sure that that's checked in the lens correction. And now if I look at the overall before and after, there it is. But let's go ahead and compare this to the original preset. Here it was the cool mat at 100% and here it is at 50%. <laughs> Isn't this exciting? I know that there are a lot of presets I've looked at that are just too strong for my taste. Now you wouldn't necessarily wanna go through that every single time. Therefore, if you dial it in exactly as you would like, what you can do is come over into your presets panel and add a new preset. So I might name this Susie Cool Matte 50 and place it in that same folder and create. And now I have a 50% version of that same preset. I hope that you found this useful. I mean, <laughs> for some reason, this has me giddy. I am very excited about this plugin. I'll post the link below and I'll see you in the next video.